Hey guys, uh, just want to show you what I got over the weekend from a three-year-old. Um, I actually found this at a garage sale. Incredible shape, pretty good uh, condition, except that the battery doesn't work anymore. So what I did was I pulled it out of the original casing. It's the original battery. And I did order a replacement off of eBay. I don't think it's a back parago per se, but it's the same spec. This is a slim design. Uh, they also have the bigger one. Um, this is the harness that I'm going to reuse along with the casing here. But my kids got impatient and they wanted to see, you know, and I wanted to know, you know, since it's a 12 volt system that if I could hook up a car battery to it, I know a lot of people are going to say, whoa, that's not safe. Well, yes and no. First of all, I don't have it mounted out of the hood. So I don't hear anything about hydrogen and explosion and stuff like that. I'm well familiar with that. This is actually a DECA German battery that came out of my BMW. It's dead, quote unquote dead. It just doesn't have enough juice to turn, off the, turn on the engine. But it still does have uh, plenty just to, to power this thing up. Um, they've been running it for uh, the last two days and the battery's almost dead now. But it does work for those who, you know, wonder if it's possible to do it. I just took my uh, jumper cables and attached it positive and negative. And then if you open the hood here, I kept everything original. You got the uh, original harness here that that goes to the gears and what I did I took a uh, piece of speaker wire plug it in you know positive and negative and then I just clipped it on here to make contact um, the battery is in the back as you can see and uh, it, it's all encased in that foam and, and, and I taped it this is just temporary, like I said, until I get the battery shipped over and just for fun, just to see if it works. Um, I'm not a big uh, big fan of uh, helicopter parenting, but uh, I can tell you right now that when my kid is riding this thing with a big battery in the back, I'm always, you know, right there to make sure that he's okay, uh, just in case. But so far, no issues. Another thing is the battery is so heavy, it almost accounts for another kid or two in the back so considerably slows down the ride you know um, just to show you that it does work I'm going to try, try to push the pedal here it's kind of slow going but it does go um, I guess I could recharge the battery a little bit but I think the new one uh, is coming in either tomorrow two days from now so we're just going to park this in the garage for now it's a very nice ride um, there's one thing I got to show you that's what's called a slim profile battery 12 volt um, I think it's uh, 8 amp I'm not sure and here is the bracket that's holding it in place with an I guess it would be an adapter to make up the difference to a full-size battery. So a full-size battery is this wide right here and then the slim one is probably this this wide you can see down there. So but yeah I think I got a pretty good deal on this. Uh, pay 30 bucks for it as is and then another 20 bucks for the battery off of eBay. So for 50 bucks my kid's got a good ride. I'm sure he's gonna have more and more fun with it. But for those out there wondering how safe it is, it is to, to hook up a car battery to this, I'd say it's pretty safe as long as you know you don't have the the thing modified or, or, or encased. Uh, you have to have ventilation for for that battery there. Um, can't wait to see the, the comments on this. Probably a lot of people are going to condemn me for this, but like I said, I never left my kids unattended riding this the way it is right now. And uh, we'll be uh, switching it back to the original intended battery. Alright guys, I guess that's it. 
There's a John Deere. This is a power loader with the uh, power pull wagon.